Well, it is Wednesday and I am back in the office. I was in Philadelphia this morning representing a client. I'm here and then came back in the office in Morristown, New Jersey, see some clients in the afternoon session. Put out a blog article regarding spring cleaning. Now, spring is here. The first day of spring was yesterday and it didn't feel like spring, but nevertheless, spring has started. And a lot of people, especially this weekend, will use the first weekend, the first week of spring to do some spring cleaning in their home. And sometimes that spring cleaning requires disposing of guns and firearms. Now, most people probably understand that a gun and a firearm, you can't treat it like a normal household appliance or item. It is a sensitive item, which is highly regulated in all states, including Pennsylvania and New Jersey, obviously. So with that said, if you are doing spring cleaning, I did a blog article regarding how to get rid of your gun or firearm or transfer to somebody else. You just can't give it to somebody. And if you can't find a gun that was previously in your home, you need to report it. Just simply forgetting about it and just assuming that it must be somewhere is not the best legal strategy. And obviously transferring it to somebody and, and then just doing it without going through the proper procedure is not the right way to do it. You can actually incur criminal charges potentially depending on, on who you transfer it to. If that person is a convicted felon, potentially you could be liable in, in both a criminal court and potentially a civil court depending on on what happens in the nature of the transfer. So if you have questions, 215-755-9000 in Pennsylvania, 856-793-7429 in New Jersey. I'm going to link in the blog article that I wrote on spring cleaning. I'm also going to link in the blog article that I wrote on the common crimes that we see during the spring, which you need to be aware of. There are crimes like a DUI, which again, there is never a good time to have a DUI, whether it be in Pennsylvania or New Jersey or anywhere. But I give you some tips in that article, which I'm going to link in here as well. But again, if you have questions, 215-755-9000 in Pennsylvania, 856-793-7429. On Friday, which is coming up very, very quickly, we'll have our e-update, which got to over 4,000 of our current and former clients in Pennsylvania and New Jersey. I've been a little slacking on the videos and content lately, but hope to get more out for you because we, we understand that an educated client and their family is in the best possible position to receive a great result in their case. Once again, have a great Wednesday, and I'll talk to you all very soon.